Hey everybody, it's fan time with Chuck and Deb. And poor Miss Deb has a cold <coughs> in her throat. It's <coughs> all scratchy. So that, there's a lady. Oh. Uh, we don't want to hit the lady on the way. Don't that would be lady. a bad thing. So, anyways, uh, we continue to recover from our eight days of intense training at St Strategy Coordinator Training. That's a mouthful. And uh, while we were at the training, we were doing iron on irons. And one of the things that we want to make sure, and that's why one of the reasons why we're doing these videos, is that our marriages are nice and strong. And Deb and I have done something for the 32 years? Um, 32. 32 years. We've been doing one thing, well, many things, but this one thing, very consistently, it's been a huge contributing factor to a healthy marriage. And that is having a date night. Okay, poor Deb, she can't talk. So, uh, we've been doing a date night. Uh, we try to do it at least once a week. Uh, when that gets challenging is when you start having kids. Because you're you're wondering if you have the time and the money to be able to do a date night. Let me encourage you that even if you have kids, keep taking your date, uh, your wife, on a date. Keep taking your date. Okay. Yeah, keep <coughs> taking your wife out on a date. It's really important to get that time alone and now I'll just let Deb <clears throat> nod if she appreciated <laughs> well, this yeah <clears throat> and for me um, part of the, the thing about date night was it, it was always better if we had a sitter that was regular like every Friday or every other week or something <clears throat> because the hardest thing for me was finding a babysitter and um, so a lot of times, if it's going to happen, you're going to have to have good child care or a good child care plan. Um, and you might have to get creative if, if finances are an issue, like maybe you can trade off watching someone else's kids for their date night <clears throat> so they can watch your kids so that you can go out. But yeah, pretty important. Yeah. So, uh, husbands, that's a cue for you. Try to set something up with a sitter. And even if it's uh, another couple, you know, they need a date night too. So trade nights. And maybe you just get every other week. Well, something is better than nothing. So our strong encouragement to you is try to get out on a date at least once a week or every other week at a minimum all right so oh many moons yeah we can talk about many moons so yeah so usually we aim for once a year to do what we call a mini honeymoon or a mini moon and we would try and get away at least overnight somewhere and um <clears throat> have one have somebody stay with the kids overnight. Usually it was a family member. So a lot of times if you can incorporate that into your parents coming to visit or somebody you trust to watch the kids staying with you, then uh, yeah, that's that's a really good thing to to inject, mm -hmm. you know, from time to time too. And that's fun getting away for many moons. How often should somebody try to do that, huh? Uh, I think we normally aim, when we had kids, we'd aim for once a year, maybe twice a year, and usually just overnight. Um, anything more than one night is a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things you guys can do is send your wives away for the afternoon 
or even the evening, like Deb, she's gonna go on a cruise this next week with her mom and her sister. So she gets time away. Well, we didn't do a whole week when we had the boys at home because uh, the boys would uh, not be very well taken care of. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but um, I did give the night away and Ma, uh, Deb and her mom would go off someplace for the evening and I would take care of the boys. Husbands, fathers, that's a great gift to give to your wives. So uh, let's get some date nights, let's get some mini moons, and let's give mama a rest. How about that? All right. Until next time, keep making disciples until there's no place left.